Hi guys, I just wanted to put up a little video. This is a pugilism film themed video rather than a backsword themed video. And what we're going to look at in this video is really very simply fist alignment. Um, the reason this is relevant is because the fist alignment in early English pugilism is actually significantly different to that which is taught in a lot of more traditional oriental martial arts. So what you'll find in, say, Shotokan Karate, is the fist comes from the hip and it comes out and it rotates and it lands, makes contact with the knuckles completely horizontal. And you try and make contact with these first two knuckles. And this is effectively, I, I can't punch particularly well because I'm in quite an enclosed space, but this is basically the form of punching that I was taught for about eight years when I did karate. And you find that a lot of other systems, and to a certain degree boxing, throws this jab out in a horizontal alignment. Now in classical pugilism, the fist makes contact in a vertical alignment. So instead of coming out this way, it comes out and contacts here. So the, the knuckles are still in a line, and, but they land this way around rather than this way around. There are a couple of reasons for that. The first is that in actual fact if we look at the anatomy of the arm then this is closer to the neutral position than this. What you have in your forearm are two bones. The ulna forms part of the elbow joint and stops about here. The radius forms part of the wrist joint and stops about here. And those two bones stay apart at this end, but actually the radius rolls around the ulna as you put your palm down, as you supinate and pronate your hand. So from a supinated position, palm up, we bring our hand around here, which will be our vertical fist. And what we've actually done is we've crossed these two bones over, which isn't as strong as it can be. To lay those bones next to each other, the anatomical position is here. In this position, those two bones lay parallel and therefore are at their strongest. So this is actually a slightly stronger anatomical position than this. Now that's by the by. The force you need to put through your forearm in order to cause any damage with these bones depending on their alignment is so great that you're actually probably going to damage your fist or the joints at either end before that can happen. But there's one more reason why this is a safer way to punch than this and that's quite simply looking at the alignment of the arm in general. Now I'm going to turn around a little for this. So if I punch this way with my horizontal fist, as taught in that boxing jab or that Shotokan punch, what happens is the plane at which my forearm bends is also horizontal. And what that means is that this elbow has a tendency to stick out. If for some reason this punch lands and doesn't make it out to full extension, my elbow is sticking out. And along the way, my elbow is flexed before my arm reaches full extension at the elbow. So this sticks out this way. Whereas with a vertical fist, the plane that that arm bends in is vertical. So it bends up and down. So at no point do my elbows stick out. Now in a purely striking based art, such as modern boxing, that's irrelevant. If you can get a bit more power, by throwing this out that way, then that's what's important. You've got padded gloves, they'll disperse some of that power and it won't damage your hands and it puts more kinetic energy into the target. That's great and that works very well and that's why boxers hit harder than anyone else because they use this to their advantage to generate power. But what they do is they inadvertently stick their elbows out, which is a problem if the person that they're fighting is allowed to grapple with them. And effectively, if I close and my elbows are sticking out, then I'm inviting my opponent to grapple with me, to get to a dominant position in the clinch, to get an underhook under that arm, or to bring that elbow around, rotate it around in some way to be able to take me down that's in a way that's likely to damage me more than simply a, a single punch. 
So, watch this elbow. When we strike and we punch in classical pugilism, we're trying to avoid sticking out these elbows. Watch any wrestler. Watch uh, any of the skilled wrestlers in the UFC or Bellator or 1FC, anything like that. They're always fighting with their elbows tucked right in. You don't see grapplers fight like this because it's an invitation. Unless they want you to do it and they're setting you up, which, let's be honest, wrestlers often do. But, as a general rule of thumb, don't stick your elbows out against somebody that can wrestle because you're going to end up in a whole world of pain. So that's one of the reasons that we punch with a vertical alignment of that fist as opposed to a horizontal alignment.